Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net and this is the possibly the final episode of the Dallas Cowboys franchise. This is the Super Bowl 53 and we're going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers in this one as you see the great matchup there in the running back position there is Ezekiel going against Le'Veon Bell in this game and it is the final game of this season as this is episode 51 as so we're going to possibly wrap up this series here hopefully with another Super Bowl victory here only our second season in this uh, franchise here as we'll go ahead and get moved into Mad 19 which will go ahead and, and be a part of the uh, Los Angeles Chargers franchise there we follow them after this but uh, here we are the Cowboys going back here and uh, this is actually supposed to be in Atlanta but for some reason we're in uh, Minnesota once again here so uh, second year in a row we've gone to the Super Bowl here in this series and now we're trying to see if we can bring home another uh, Vince Lombardi trophy to the city of Big D so Dallas uh, fans are here ready to go here so are Pittsburgh fans and you're see, you see a this could be a good matchup now these two teams have not played against each other in the Super Bowl since 19 I believe it was 1976 uh, before that, I believe they played each other. Uh, it was in the uh, uh, I'm trying to think last big game. I think it was uh, several years ago, not too long ago here. Uh, but you know, these two franchises are very historic for Super Bowl wins and victories, and just uh, just pretty much you know iconic, especially during the 19 uh, late 60s, early 70s. Uh, so. These are two historical, iconic uh, football clubs here, and we're going to see which club today is going to go home with the trophy. So last year we won it, and of course, uh, we like to try to bring that again here uh, as we get this game going there. So you see Antonio Brown, the cover boy for this year's uh, Mad 19 game, and there you see the Pittsburgh Steelers 9-6-1 and for the season. As we're 15-1. and uh, to, rate, to end the regular season. There you see Pittsburgh there uh, on a two-game losing streak going into the last two weeks of the season, losing those two. And then, of course, us there. You see Red Hot winning 10 straight after that big, uh, that clo close uh, law. That, well, it was a close uh, victory there for almost for us, but of course, we came up short there. Have been uh, The Jaguars are able to take advantage of that. Pouncey, the only uh, guy right now on both teams that are injured. Uh, you see that partial ACL tear. He'll, he's going to be out for the rest of the remaining of the season. He's been out for the majority of the season. But he will not be a part of today's festivities. So he'll be on the sideline there watching his team uh, his team go out of here. You see Ben Rosberg over close to 5,000 yards there for the season. And uh, a lot of quite a few touchdowns and not many interceptions, especially on his uh, latter side of his career. As you see a big run here from Le'Veon Bell. Runs this one and gets enough there on that third and one. To make a first and 10 there and you see his numbers there two carries for 13 yards already here in this game so now we'll go ahead and move on to a first and a, uh, 10 as we'll see Le'Veon bell gets his number called again and he will be taken down there and oh bell is hurt and that was a tackle there from i believe sean lee and uh, he's been kind of a bit kind of abusive there on the field here as of late when it comes to defense, uh, playing against other teams' offensive players there. So we'll see now third and six. We'll see Ben Rossberger throw this one up there, but that's going to be a complete pass, and that's going to force now the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers now to punt the ball to Prescott and company. There you see Prescott there, 33 touchdowns, 16 interceptions for the season, and we'll see if this uh, what this young man can do here is try to bring home another uh, World Series title there to his owner, Jerry Jones as we go to first and ten here ball on the 26 yard line and they'll see here will snap the ball have that one go to the rookie who's been just on fire here in the playoffs especially taking over there there you see bird there Raymond Bird gets the huge first down and is able to move the chains as we'll go now to a uh, first and ten here for the Cowboys once again on that great run there we got it uh, looks like uh, Mackett or uh, so I believe it's uh, McFadden there in the background uh, there in the in the uh, halfback position, he only get a little scamper there for about two run yards on the play. As we'll go ahead now to a big now another third down here, a third and four. Again here as we uh, move along in this same drive here, we'll see Prescott drops back here, throws one up the middle there. That is going to go to Beasley, 
as he'll make a nice catch there and that'll be a huge first down for the Cowboys now we'll move on now and see uh, another first and ten here for the Cowboys as this one's gonna be thrown there and that one's gonna be called thrown there to last year's rookie Ryan Switzer who makes a nice catch there just shy of the first down as he gets about nine on the play We'll go now to the second and in inches here. Ball on the 29-yard line here. And this run right here is enough there to get the first down and get us near, almost inside the 20 there. Marker at the 22 from uh, Elliott. So Ezekiel Elliott now here. See what he can do here this next run here as he's trying to get around that block, but gets caught there. But he'll give a couple yards there on the play as they'll move now to a second and seven. So second and seven, ball on the 19 now. They're inside the 20-yard line. We'll see Prescott here. Drops back here. He's looking. Fires. Throws this one there. That's going to be a nice catch there. No problem there for Des Bryant to get that one as he gets that one to the two-yard line there for the huge first down. So now first and goal. And we'll see them. Cowboys will see themselves there on the two-yard line of the Steelers. And we'll see exactly here. Handoff here. Can he get through the? No, he cannot get to the goal line there. But he will get a, get a, get a gain of one. We move on now to a second and goal here, trying to play on the outside here, but no, cannot get on the outside there. So it looks like the Cowboys' only option now is try to throw this one in there, see if they can get a quick pass now here. And chances are it's either going to go to Witten or it's going to go to Des Bryant. My guess would be Witten, as uh, he's pretty good here in the red zone uh, offense here. So see there, oh, nice slant pass there, and that is going to go to Des Bryant. Who gets the touchdown there for the Cowboys? And the Cowboys draw first blood here as they lead it now 7 to nothing. So now, with 4.26 left here in the first quarter, we'll see the uh, Steelers here have to throw this one down the field here. And, oh, that's going to be a nice catch, but no, it's going to be taken, and it's going to be broken apart there. Nice stop there from the defense. And that's good play there as it'll be a second and 10. Now we'll go to third and one here. Big cr critical first down here for the Steelers as they cannot get to the sticks. And I believe they get pushed back there. No, they go nowhere. And they'll be forced to punt. So, Steelers uh, not having a good time here so far in these first two drives. As we'll see here, a running play there for uh, Bird. Who almost gets caught there and goes on the outside as the inside crashes in on him. Gets a nice run there as it goes second and uh, six now here. A nice toss there to Zeke Elliott, and Zeke Elliott will get the nice reception for the first down. Go ahead and move the chains, as now they're all still on their own side of the field here at the 17. Go now first and 10 here. Pittsburgh having a little trouble here on, on defense. They can't really stop these Cowboys so far, but you see a nice run there. If only he would have waited for that block there for number 70. Bird would have had a clean, clean, open, clean hole there to run through. So now we'll see a second and one here as we'll get see a Zeke here. He'll come back in there and he'll get a nice scamper for the first as he'll move the chains. And again, just try and take our time here. Take eat some of this clock up here in the first quarter. Don't give too much here. As, oh, that one almost got picked away, but it'll get batted away there. Nice job there from the defense from Pittsburgh. And that's uh, not what you want to see there uh, in this situation. Now we'll go third and one here, and we'll see what the Cowboys can do here. So far on third downs, they've been doing really, really well here. As we'll see, Zeke here tries to get to the first down marker, and he does. And they'll get him at the 40 as he'll get a new set of downs. So now first and 10 here, ball on their own 40-yard line. We'll see with the Cowboys here, open backfield here. Uh, Prescott's going to look, throw this one up the middle there. That's going to be a nice catch there as Hannah holds on to that one. And that's going to put us into the second quarter. So now first and 10 here as we start the second quarter here near midfield. Now changing sides. We'll see a first and 10 here for the Cowboys as we'll see Prescott here calling audible. Doesn't like what he sees from the defense here. He's going to change it up here. Throw this one up there to no other than Jason Wynn, the man that could possibly leave here after this season. And he gets a huge first down. His third reception in this ball game. And it's a huge first and 10 there for the Cowboys. As we'll move on now to a ball in the 31-yard line here in Steer Territory. And we'll see Prescott here doing a good job here through the air. And that's going to be a nice reception there for Des Bryant as he gets tackled there at the uh, 25 there. And a gain of six yards on the play. So we'll see a second and four here. Ball in the 25 here for the Cowboys. 
As Prescott again, no open backfield here. Nobody back there to help him out here. He's going to see, throw this one up the middle there. That's going to be a nice catch there for Beasley, who gets the huge first down there. Nice job of staying underneath the coverage there and helping his team out getting the first down. So now, again, first down here, first and 10 here. Cowboys just been doing a great job here converting for first downs here and just uh, getting down the field as quickly as they want to here. This one almost gets thrown there. Gets, almost gets caught, but it goes uh, just out of range there for, I believe, for Beasley. So, incomplete pass there. So, go now to a second and 10. We'll see if Des Bryant here, or we'll see uh, Prescott here throws this one up there. And that one is, well, it looks like it's going to be a holding call on the Pittsburgh Steelers here. We'll see what the call is. And the referee says, yes, it is a pass interference. And that is going to be on TJ uh, Watt, JJ uh, Watt's little bro. So now we'll go first and 10 here, or first and goal, I should say. Ball on the four-yard line after the penalty. And we'll get tripped up there as McFadden lose about a couple of yards on the play. That'll put his back some. So now third and goal here. Cowboys going to go for it again. Remember last time they were in the red zone on third down, they scored. We'll see if they go through the air this time like they did the first time around. As the play clock is running down here to the eight and now we'll see Prescott here throws this one up there that is going to be caught and that's going to be inside no not in the end zone there and it's going to be at the one and it's going to cost the uh or have the Cowboys now kick a field goal here to put three on the board and lead by 10 here with 8 30 left here in the first half as we'll see a kick here play clock running down here they want to try to take as much time they can they do so Kick that one up there, and that is going to be good. And the Cowboys lead it by 10. So Steelers back on the field here for the third time now here. So far, been shut down all three drives. As we'll see, third and inches here, and this one's going to be thrown up there. But can he keep his feet in bounds? And they say no. Incomplete pass, and it's going to be a fourth and inches now here for the Steelers. And they'll be forced to punt. So now also now three drives now. Steelers have not been able to get down the field here. As we'll see a run here. From Elliott as he'll get a couple of yards on the play. We move on now to a third and six here for the Cowboys. We'll see what the Cowboys can do here as they've been doing a great job here on third downs here. And we'll see Prescott here. He's looking. He's got to try to get rid of this ball here. He does and gets that one in there. And that is going to be by Switzer who gets to the first. Oh, he gets enough there for the first at the 45 uh, yard line. So now second and nine. We'll see here. It's going to be a, uh, well, Dez, I don't know, or Prescott, I don't know what he was doing. I think he's trying to look for something deep, but he gets caught there as they get the sack, and that's going to be Hayworth there. Cameron Hayworth with a sack, and it's going to knock him down back to the 34-yard line. So now a third and 19 here. Cowboys got to try to get something. They got to get the momentum back for themselves here as we'll see another pass. No, not another pass there, another sack. This time by Steven Tewitt, who gets in there this time and gets a huge sack there. And that's going to force the Cowboys now to punt here. And they will as they'll punt this one to the 29 there for the Steelers. So Steelers on their own 29-yard line here. We'll see a run here, and that is going to be stopped as Alfred Blue now will come into the game here. He's been actually been in the game for a while now since uh, Le'Veon Bell was taken out. And don't know if Bell's going to be able to come back in here. We'll try, try to find out and see here, but... We'll see here that Roethlisberger here just gets caught there by Ch Taco Charleston. That's a huge loss, and that's a sack there. First sack of the day there for the Cowboys, and we'll get the ball here after the punt here on our own 25. So ball on the 25-yard line here, first and 10. We'll hit, run this one here, and then we'll see Zeke Elliott here. Break the tackle here, and oh, he finally got some open space here. He's going down the field here. This could be a big run here. He is going down the 5, the 10, inside the touchdown end zone and that is a touchdown Cowboys that's a 75 yard touchdown rushing touchdown there and the Cowboys pick up a big big run there and now extend the lead now it's going to be a 17 to nothing ball game here it could be an easy 28 to or maybe a 30 point game here before the half as you see the run there Zeke just keeping his legs moving the guys getting him some good blocks there that one play for 75 yards there, nice run. And the Cowboys get the lead here, 17-0. So now, Steers are back here on the field here, first and 10 here, ball on the own 25. 
As uh, Roethlisberger and company got to get something going here. Their offense has just been stagnant. And there you see a nice sack there. As Wyatt Nischik, I believe that I just love this kid so much. I'm so glad we drafted him as he gets in there and gets in the sack on Roethlisberger. So we'll see here now third and 14 here. And we'll see that we'll see Alfred Blue here gets caught there and cannot get to the sticks. And they'll be forced to punt. So we'll see now here the punt actually. The very next play here and you see, oh my goodness, good run here from Bird and Bird. All you had to do was get around those three guys and he would have been in the end zone. But he returns it back to the 28-yard line here. Nice run there. Great field position here for the Cowboys. Not much for uh, Dak and company to do here. Maybe two or three plays and they'll be in the end zone and can score for a touchdown. So hopefully this uh, good return will turn out to be something here on this drive. So we'll see now first and 10 here. Ball on the 28-yard line here inside the Pittsburgh's 28. As we'll see here, we'll see a drop back here for Prescott. Prescott going to throw this one up there. That's going to be a catch. It's going to be tipped. It's going to be intercepted. It's just going to go back the other way here. This could be a pick six now for the Steelers to help them get on the board. But no, Burns can't return it. A nice stop there from Prescott. And the ball's going to be at the 44-yard line of the Cowboys. So Steelers now have momentum now here as they get that great pick. First pick of the day here for Prescott. As we'll see, Roethlisberger jumps up, gets hit, and then you see a great hit there. Nice hit from the defense of the Cowboys, and the Cowboys get the ball back. Skander gets the fumble recovery. I don't know. I want to say it was Nischik that hit him, but I'm not for sure. Take a look at the replay. And Oh, it was. It was Wyatt Nischik putting a hurting on the, uh, the tight end there and getting the ball back for his Cowboys. And then you see the, off the defense picks it up. And now gives it back to the offense here. So first and ten here. And it's going to be a play action here for Prescott. Prescott's going to go down the field here. He's going to go ahead and slide. Good. And they're going to take a quick timeout now with 42 seconds left here before we go to the half. What a crazy uh, last four or five minutes of this game has been. As we'll take a look here. Second and six. Ball on the 41-yard line here. We'll see Prescott here. Throws this one. That's going to be a quick pass there to the tight end. Uh, Jason Witten on that one for the first. Now 25 seconds left here. We'll see Prescott here. Play action. He's going to throw this one high and deep. Throws that one there. That is going to Williams. And Williams gets this one. And he will get a huge first down. Ball at the 23-yard line. Now with 20 or with 17 seconds left. Cowboys have one timeout remaining. So we'll see now here. First and 10 here. We'll see the Cowboys. What they're going to do. They're going to go through the air. Let's get a pass there to Jason Witten. They're going to have to call a quick timeout here if they want to get back on the field. But no. They decided to do a no huddle. They go ahead and throw this one up there. They can't get in the end zone. Do they? No, they can't. And that's how the half ends. As they should have burned a timeout, in my opinion. Should have burned a timeout. Not uh, gamble there. Because then they could have, you know, just could have just made that one play there and went in but unfortunately that wasn't the case there and the Cowboys uh, get stopped at the one yard line there to end the half that could have easily been a 24 uh, nothing ball game going to the half Steelers well you take a look at them they're not really going anywhere 22 yards of uh, passing and 25 yards rushing the defense is doing a great job there capping off the veteran uh, ben Roethlisberger and uh, and uh, Le'Veon Bell that were in the running game there. So, so far it's been a pretty much a Cowboys event here. And I'm sure Cowboys fans are loving this here. If you're a Steelers fan, well, you're Steelers. I don't know what is going on. I really thought after that uh, tip there they had off of Prescott, I really thought like, okay, this was going to be the drive that's going to get them going as they would just been down by, a, a, you know, two possessions but now it looks like that they're gonna have to try to get themselves uh, get, get them play some good solid defense here to start the second half as Cowboys get the ball here it's half we'll see a pass there and that one almost gets picked off but it gets batted away as I believe uh, I want to say that Burns uh, in, uh, bit, uh, deflects that one go third and ten here for the Cowboys we'll see Prescott here drops back throws this one and that's gonna be a great catch there to Switzer for the first. So first and ten here. Cowboys really don't have to do too much here. Just gotta play the, just play some good football, manage the clock. And if they can do that with their defense the way they've been playing here all game long here, they pretty much have this ball game one. If they see Terrence Williams goes down the field there, 
That's going to be a great catch. I want to say actually that the catch we've seen earlier before is actually Hannah, the tight end, getting that catch. But this that was Terrence Williams that time. As we'll see now here, first and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line here for Prescott. Prescott is going to drop back here deep and finds a man under the coverage there. Nice job there getting that one to Beasley for the first down. Mark him at the 12. So a huge day here for Prescott there with the exception of that interception there. He's been playing a pretty good game. First and 10 now here. Ball on the 12-yard line here. Looks like they're going to go through the air as they've been pretty much uh, denied through the ground game here in this one here. You see Prescott calling an audible here. I don't know what he's calling, but it looks like it's going to be a run. He's going to go ahead and run this one to Elliott, or Elliott's going to get to the three-yard line as he's just one yard shy of getting the century mark there as he has 12 carries for 99 yards. Second and two here for the Cowboys as they're on the three-yard line here. Prescott looking, looking for his man in the end zone, finds him and gets the touchdown there to Jason Witten. Touchdown, Cowboys, and the Cowboys now lead it soon to be 24 to nothing as we start off this third quarter. Nice drive there for them and for the offense. So now defense back on the field here for the Cowboys. We'll see first and in here. Man in motion there for the Steelers. As we'll see Rothberger hand this one off. No, it's going to be a play action instead. It's going to flag on the field here. Ben's going to try to take off here and gets caught. We'll see who this flag is on. Hopefully it's going to be a holding call on them, on the Steelers. And it is. And the Cowboys are going to go ahead and decline it so they can get the sack as Gilbert gets caught on that play for holding. So now ball on the 26-yard line here, third and nine. We'll see what the Cowboys can do here. They can stop the conversion. As we'll see here, Rossberger looking. He's trying to find somebody. Gets hit as he throws, and that's going to be an incomplete pass. And the Cowboys will get the ball here off of the punt. So nice job there getting that quick three and out. As we'll see now, Cowboys back on the field here. We'll go for, uh, forward some here, second and 11. We'll see the ball in 23-yard line here. Hand off to Elliott. Elliott will run this one, and that is going to be a nice little run there for a couple of yards there for the third down. So third and six here now. Cowboys trying to convert here. As we'll see Prescott here calling an audible here, changing it up here. Doesn't like what he's uh, what he's called. He's going to change it up some. He's going to have a slant right there to no other than Des Bryant, but Bryant cannot hold on after a nice hit there from the linebackers there, and that's going to cause a three and out. So now first and ten here. The Cowboys punt the ball there on the put the ball on the 21 yard line after the punt. For the Steelers, as we'll see, uh, Alfred Blue here runs this one and cannot go anywhere as he has stopped on the play. He gets about only about a yard on that one. As we go to now a second and nine here for the Steelers, as we see a man in motion, Martavis Bryant here. He's running. You're going to see here, good pa pass there. And they get it to the tight end. The tight end gets enough there for the first. So nice uh, go there for them as they're just behind here. As we'll see a flag on the field here. And we'll see who it is on. It's going to be a false start. And it's going to be on the offense. So the offensive lineman there, you see, I believe uh, that is uh, yeah, De Castro there. He gets called on that one. So go back five yards here. First and 15 here. Ben Rossberger looking, finds Chandler. Oh, no, he can't find nobody. He gets taken down there. That's a huge sack there for the Cowboys. And that's a nice play from, I believe, Collins on that one. So now third and 13 here, ball in the 28-yard line here. Rothberger drops back here. He's going to take off here and look. And no, he gets pulled down, and that's another sack there. Taco Charles and his third sack of the day. And that is going to be it's going to be definitely a uh, cap in his feather here. As he has four tackles and three sacks in this game. First and 10 here after the punt. We'll see if uh, Prescott Scott here will throw this one there. That's going to be to Jason Witten. Jason Witten gets this one. And gets a nice catch and gets stopped there at the 46-yard line of a nine-yard gain on the play. Yeah, um, coach there for the Steelers and not liking this game at all. As it's a 24-0 ball game here. We go third and one here. Cowboys are going to try to see if they can convert again here with 4.05 left here in the third quarter. They got to take their time here. They got plenty of time here. They don't have to really snap the ball too much here. As they pretty much can have control of this clock. And control of the clock is pretty much the control of the game. As they do get enough there for the first, and that's a huge first down. So Cowboys back on the uh, on the field here still, and they're going to look like it's going to be Burr in the backfield. That means it's going to be a run, 
And we'll see what Bird can do here. As he, oh, makes, makes a nice uh, bro, broken tackle there. And then gets to the 28-yard line for that nice run there. First and 10 for the Cowboys. So now, Cowboys here are at the 28-yard line of the Steelers. Prescott looks, fires, finds his receiver, finds Beasley on the catch. And that is going to be a huge uh, run there, a huge catch and run there for about eight yards on the play. So now second and two here. Cowboys really doing a good job here, just taking their time down the field, playing the clock as much as they can. As we see play clock run down to six, and we'll see a pass there up the middle there to no other to Switzer, and Switzer will get enough. They get enough yards there for the first, and he moves the chains once again. Cowboys looking trying to score here on this drive here. As we'll see the play clock run down to one. Thank goodness Prescott got that one off here as he throws this one up there. That almost gets picked away. Dangerous throw there. I don't know what Prescott was thinking, but that can have easily been a pick six going the other way. So third and goal here. Ball on the four-yard line. We'll see what they're, exactly what they're going to do. And looks like it could be a pass play as the running game has been uh, kind of – Steelers have been kind of really stingy when it comes to running game. And there you see a fumble and a nice hit there for the Steelers' defense on Prescott, but they – Steelers are able to keep the ball, and now it's going to force them to get a field goal here. As you see there, the, just the mad dash and scramble on top of, Pat, of uh, uh, Prescott there. And that is going to be a play. Oh, wait a minute. The Cowboys decide, no, they're going to take a risk it. They're going to risk it for the biscuit here, and they're going to try to go for it here on fourth and goal. Ball on the 11-yard line here. Play clock running down the 10. And the Cowboys really going to put maybe playing some mind games with them, trying to see if they're going to jump off sides to get the first. We'll see here. Drop back here, fires, throws. That one's going to be in the end zone, and that is a touchdown. Cowboys on the field once again. Fans, you might, uh, some fans, Steel fans might think they're rubbing it in here, but it's going to be a 31 to nothing ball game here after the extra point. And the Cowboys are going for it here. Talk about a game they are having here as that's 10 plays. 56 yards, nice run there as that finishes off there with uh, Beasley in the end zone there. Nice catch for him. So now 31 nothing here in the uh, just the last 23 seconds left here in the third quarter. We'll see what the uh, series will do here as they have an open back here. They got pretty much got a pass now in this game here if they wanted to get back in this one. And it's going to be a uphill battle here as they give that one to Martez Bryant there for the first. So now here we go, fourth quarter. Cowboys uh, still on defense here. So we'll see a first and ten, 10 as they switch sides here after that big uh, catch there from Martez Bryant. Then you see another pass there to the tight end who gets that one, his third reception of the day. Got hit, uh, rocked pretty hard earlier from Wyatt Nischik earlier, but this time not, uh, not the case. So as we'll see now second and ten, or second and, uh, second and two now, I should say. This one going to Bryant again there. Martez Bryant goes, gets fine, gets pulled down there. But gets enough to get the 10 yards that they need as they'll get a huge first down off that play. So ball on the 34-yard line here. We'll see a first and 10 here for the Cow or for the Steelers as they're still on the field here, trying to get down the field. We'll see if uh, Roethlisberger there. And, oh, almost gets picked off there. Good. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you better be shame yourself because you should have had that. That should have been a pick six there for the Cowboys D. As we go now third and nine here. Prescott here, or I should say Rothberger throws that one there, and that is going to be a catch there as he'll have to roll into the fourth down. We'll see here fourth and two, and we'll see the kick here. Can they put some points on the board here? Well, they're not going to go down too much shame here. It's going to be a 31-3 a ball game. They'll be able to put three on the board. We'll see here now Ezekiel Elliott here. Pretty much Cowboys just need to run the clock here as much as they possibly can. He, of course, got to get those first downs to keep the clock moving as Cesar gets that nice hit there on Elliott. We'll go to now a second and two here for the Cowboys as the ball's on their own 31-yard line. And we'll see here again, just playing down to the choir here, just trying to take enough time off this clock here so the Cowboys or the Steelers have to use their timeouts and everything else. They could possibly have whatever they have left here to try to get back in this ballgame if they want back in it. And they're going to have to do quite a bit of work there. They're going to have to get at least four scores now to get back into this ballgame. As we'll see, handoff there to Zeke Elliott. And Zeke's going to run this one here. And he does get it up there. Or actually, no, he's just shy there of the first down marker. It'll say inches there. As we'll see here, Bird will here run this one. He'll get enough there. But uh oh, this one looks like it might be a penalty there on the Steelers. 
Might be a face mask. And looks like it is going to be a face mask. As that is going to be an automatic first down. And that is going to put them at the... Looks like the 36-yard line there for a first and 10 there for the Cowboys. So we'll see now here. Cowboys after the penalty. We'll see at first and 10. Ball in the 36. And we'll see. They're going to still hold on to the ball here. Let's get this one to McFadden. McFadden's going to run this one. McFadden fumbles the ball. It gets popped out. And it goes to the Steelers. Steelers right there. What is McFadden doing? He should have just held on to it. But somehow it got popped out of his hand. Let's see exactly what happened. He gets caught up behind his own blocker there. And it looks like someone punched it out in the back end there. But not what we want right now. Is we're trying to keep a hold of this clock. And try to keep it going here. But we'll have to now give it get the ball up here to the Cowboys or to excuse me to the Steelers now at the 23 yard line so first and 10 here ball in the 23 yard line 734 left and we'll see here Roethlisberger draws back here he's looking fires a deep one there but the tight end can't hold on to it and there's an injury on the field here I don't know exactly who it is but oh it's Roethlisberger that is not good so with 723 730 left here in the fourth. They're going to have to bring in the backup now. So now pretty much you can say this game's over with now here. As the backup will come in here to take, see what he can do here. As he's looking, scrambling, taking a look here. He throws this one up there. Nice throw there. And it's going to be complete there as Dobbs throws his first pick or th first pass here in this game. As now we'll go to a uh, second and ten here. Drop back after a player two here. We'll see that that is going to be another reception there. And it's another injury timeout. And I believe, I don't know exactly who that is, but we'll have to see. It's, a, it's going to be a third and one situation here for the Cowboys. As uh, we'll see what they'll be able to do here. As we go to a th uh, ball in the 48-yard line here, we'll see Dobbs drops back here. He, he's dropping deep there, and that one, no, no one can get a hold of it as that one is getting away from the receiver. We'll go now to a first and 10 here after the uh, punt here for from the Steelers, and they'll hand it to, uh, back to us, and you see McFadden hurt now here after that run as he got just manhandled there by Javarvis Hargrove. As we now go to a third and seven here, this could be it here for the Cowboys if they get the first down. They can pretty much take this game here as so they'll go and see. No, because not get to the first down marker. And that right there is it for the drive with 555 left. Pittsburgh, well, has another chance here to do something here, but it's still not enough time for them to get back in the ball game here. I see Rossberger here throws this one there off to the side there. And that one is going to be taken down. And that's going to be a loss of some yards there. As that one is going to be a tackle. Go now to thir second and 13. And we'll see a flag on the field. We'll see who this is on. I don't know exactly exactly who this is. is but, oh, it looks like it's going to be on the Cowboys. Oh, it's going to be Taco there. He jumped the, jumped the line there. And it was in the uh, neutral zone there. So that's going to be a, f a penalty there. We'll go jump ahead now to a third and five here. Last chance now for the Steelers to we'll see Roethlisberger's back in the ball game here. He'll throw this one up there. This one's going to be good. No, it's not going to be complete there. And that pretty much is your end of the ball game here. Cowboys become your Super Bowl champions for the second time in this series as they bring home the Vince Lombardi Trophy for the second year in a row. The Cowboys are your NFL champions. So what a game this is was, was, and what a way to end this series, man. Quite honestly, you guys, I'm kind of saddened because I really want, I'm, I'm happy that we won the Super Bowl, but I'm unhappy with the way uh, time constraints, you know, things happen in life. You can't always do what you want to do because you got other responsibilities. You know, you have to, in my case, you have to adult sometimes and be responsible and, and you know with full-time jobs like that so i won't wasn't able to play this series as much as i wanted to and do a lot of things i wanted to do do in this series um i was really hoping i was going to be able to play at least uh you know four or five years in this series and uh, with right now with the way work is right now i'm feeling that's going to be the same way with this the Chargers series now the Chargers series will start here very very soon i will announce what day it will start 
Uh, I got the first couple episodes already up for you guys, but I kind of want to get uh, kind of ahead of it. Um, so there's not so much, uh, you know, waiting on videos and stuff like that. At least want to put up at least uh, two episodes a day. And there's a different format uh, for that series, and I'll talk more about that in a later video. But your Super Bowl champions, the Dallas Cowboys, once again, you see Jalen Smith. Uh, your player of the game, I believe, was Zeke Elliott, who had that big run there, that 75-yard uh, uh, rush, uh, rushing touchdown there. Great day there for him. And, of course, uh, Z D you know, uh, with the interception there, really not Prescott's pro fault there. Uh, it was just a bad, just luck of a t bad tip there for the Steelers. So I'm not going to count that against him. But he had a great game there, 220 or 288 yards. Uh, 25 of 34. Uh, he completed 73% of his passes. And it's like Ben Rosberg. He had a really tough day. 11 of 21, 95 yards passing. Only completed 52% of his passes there in that one. Uh, sacked a couple of times. I know we at least sacked two or three times in this game. Uh, but yeah, for the most part here, great game here for us. And now the question is, what do the Cowboys do next here? in this series well unfortunately like i mentioned already the series is going to come to an end but we will go as 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 always follow you know follow it through uh show you guys i'll show you guys what i'm going to do uh if the series would have continued uh so that means drafts all that kind of stuff i'll show you guys that uh coming up in another video but the new series of the uh steel or the uh excuse me the chargers of the los angeles Chargers, will start very very soon the first episode should be up i'm hoping uh, by up uh, a couple days before the or a couple days after this is uh, showed up so maybe I say about two or three days after this is up on the channel uh, but again I will leave a video I'll put up a video here letting you guys know what day the video that series will start uh, like I said I've already got a couple episodes already in a can already ready to go uh, I'm just waiting to uh, just put up some more stuff I got some other series I'm trying to work on also uh, that are new to the series here or new to the channel too so a lot of things going on plus it's got a lot of things going on in work and personal life stuff so trying to settle some a lot of different things there and a lot of you guys have been very 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 understanding about that and i appreciate you guys with that all and everything um, but i promise we'll have that uh los angeles charger series started and ready to go for you guys uh so we can go right from from after the introduction video we can go right into week one and uh from there on like i said there's a different format of that series uh, than, than the previous uh, Man and Franchise series here on the channel. So a um, little bit of a change, a little kind of a little bit, little bit of a shakeup to things uh, or how we do things here for these uh, franchises. So that is it. Uh, take a look at the numbers here. Uh, great day there for Taco Charleston. Three tackles there for him. Or excuse me, three sacks, uh, four tackles uh, for him. He had a great day. Nischik, I am so, I am so upset now. I might have had to recreate him in another game. Uh, maybe in, in, in Madden of uh, this uh, series. I I will say there will be a, something special about this Charger series that we'll do here. Uh, and I'll get more into about that later on here uh, in that video there. So, yeah, I know. A little teaser there. I know I'm playing with you guys on that. But uh, prom, I promise you there's going to be a funny, a fun, cool way um, how we're going to speed that series along. And uh, not to mention uh, where you guys can maybe possibly get involved. So... Uh, but that is it. Uh, like I said, we'll have the uh, we'll have we'll still have the uh, the uh, review video talking about this game and talking about the uh, just kind of wrapping up the series, and then uh, we'll have the off season videos about this series of what would we done if the series would continue. I'll show you guys that also too. So that is it for me, you guys. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Um, well, I shouldn't say more Dallas Cowboys football. I should say more. Uh, Madden football here on the channel not to mention uh, you guys can uh, follow us on social media on Facebook Twitter and Discord. links are down below in the description check those out and as always keep yourselves and your other healthy and I will see you guys next time